Hello, this is Jessica Fox from Florida Virtual Bookkeeper. Coming up with a tip about a question that I get asked very often, how to enter transactions that were for the business, but that were expenses that you paid with your personal funds. This is very common where you're starting a business or you may have been out and about and did not have your business debit card and you use your personal credit card, your cash or your personal account to pay for something. Connecting your personal bank account to QuickBooks is not the answer. This is how it's done. Some people will tell you to enter a journal entry, but this is confusing. And if you don't know what you're doing, it can cause quite a bit of trouble. So there is a better way. We would do it by entering a zero net ex expense transaction. You will just click on the plus icon on QuickBooks Online, select expense. And let's say that you went to Staples and you spent $100 in supplies for your business and you paid them with your personal account. Here it's showing the business checking account. That is okay. We are not going to change this balance. We just want to get this recorded. And when the first line, we're just going to enter supplies, $100. And in the next line, this is how we're going to recognize the fact that it was part of your investment into the business as an owner. So we would enter this an owner's contribution. If you have an owner's draw account, you can use that as well. That is okay. We just want to make sure that you're using an equity account and how it's called will depend on your type of business so if you do not have an owner's draw you may have a shareholders account or a partner's distribution and contribution account the name doesn't matter so much as long as it's in the equity section and then in this line we are going to make the same amount as a negative and what this does is that now you see that total expense is $0. So it's not going to take any money out of your bank balance, but it is recognizing that you spent $100 in supplies and it was $100 in contribution from you for your business. So how, let's see now what this looks like. If you go into your reports, let's run a profit and loss. I'm just going to run it for today. This should just be the only transaction that's entered today. There we see right there, supplies, $100. Now we'll take a look at the balance sheet. We'll make sure that we are including today in the range. And if we go to the equity section, there's the $100. When you go into the bank, and you look at the bank register, you'll see that the transaction is there, but it's not affecting your bank balance. So here you go, Staples, zero dollars. So when you go to reconcile the bank account, this transaction is going to be listed in there. You just check it off with all the other transactions in the month and everything is set. I hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions, I am only an email away. Jessica at floridavirtualbookkeeper.com. I hope that you found this useful and have a great day.